oh my gosh, for the first time in their life, your customers have seen an expert, a professional, not a car salesman, not a car salesman, but an advisor, an investor, and somebody that they can say, well, you know what? Well, that really makes sense. Andy, well said. You know what? We'll take it. All right, guys, so I'm going to give you the objection, how to overcome, I saw it cheaper somewhere else. Now listen, time out, do me a favor, all right? Stop what you're doing. Get a pen, get a piece of paper. I want to explain this to you. If you merrily watch this video, you will get crushed when you turn it off and you go back out on the lot. There's no way physically possible that you can watch this video and get this down without writing it down. So, if you're raising your hand right now and you're saying, Andy, I wanna know how to overcome the objection, I saw it cheaper somewhere else. Get a pen, get a piece of paper, and write this down. By the way, how I learn, and I say I have a learning disability because I don't know why I can't see something visually, I have to write it down over and over and over again. And by the way, if you wanna become a one percenter and you wanna become deadly at overcoming objections, guess what? Write it down. Because if you don't, every word advances the cell forward or takes it backwards. And this is such a crucial objection that we overcome here, I actually took and wrote it down on the whiteboard for you so that you could write it down word for word and not say, oh, I get kind of how he's saying it, let me go try it. No, you take one sentence out of this close, it ruins the whole deal. And by the way, when you have it memorized, you can use it however you want. You can weave in and out of it as you're working your deal. But if you don't become a one percenter and write it down, by default, you'll automatically become the other 99% that aren't growing and aren't making more money. So when a customer says, I saw it cheaper down the road, I'm going to back into it here and I'm going to read this to you. And I want you to slowly write it down and then I want you to speed it up and I want you to understand like, wow, Andy, I love that. And by the way, maybe you use 70 or 80% of this and then tie in your own word tracks with it. That's fine. You don't have to be a second rated version of me. Be a first rated version of yourself. But write it down, say it over and over, and then you can decide what you wanna take out of it, what you wanna keep in it, and then make it in your own. My job is to train and, and create the most highest salespeople in the world. So here we go. So, overcome the objection. I saw it cheaper somewhere else. I say, wow, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, I can see that you've really done your homework here. Nobody could, watch this word, accuse you of being impulsive. I cannot speak for the other vehicles found on the other lots in other towns. I can only represent the vehicles that I have in my inventory right now. You're probably not looking for cheap, are you? Watch this. This is where it ties it in. Most people aren't. Look at this. See these keywords? You're probably looking for value and value for the price. And that's exactly what you found here. And then I'll go into the close. So let me read this back to you again. And as you're writing it, I want you to understand this. Customer says, hey, we saw one of these cheaper down the road. I say, wow, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, I can see that you've probably done your homework here, right? That's awesome, you need to say that, okay? That lets them know like, man, it sounds like you've done a lot of research. But guess what, I use the word homework. It's a good word. People don't use homework during negotiating. It's a very calm word that they haven't heard. It's very sly, it flies under the radar. Wow, I can see that you've really done your homework here. Nobody could accuse you of being impulsive. I cannot speak for the other vehicles found on the other lots in other towns. I can only represent the car that I have here with me right now, okay? You're not looking for for cheap, are you? Most people aren't. I tie in a social proof close with it. And then I say, you're probably looking for value and value for the price. And that's exactly what you found. And I wanna explain this to you with your wife and your kids at the end of the day, when they're driving this, they're not gonna be driving price, they're gonna be driving value. When it comes to the safety of your family and picking out the right vehicle, I know that we wouldn't shortcut our family for a thousand, fifteen hundred, or even twenty-five hundred dollars. So I can't tell you why the other cars on the other lots are less, less money. I can only tell you what I have here and I have right now. And I can tell you that this car is definitely worth the value that you have found and that the price, it may be a little higher. And sometimes great value works that way. The prices that are the lowest aren't usually the highest in business. So if we're high in all the critical areas that are important to you and your family and we're the best in price, isn't that how a great business works? 
oh my gosh, for the first time in their life, your customers have seen an expert, a professional, not a car salesman, not a car salesman, but an advisor, an investor, and somebody that they can say, well, you know what? Well, that really makes sense. Andy, well said. You know what? We'll take it. Close your deal, and now for the first time in your life, you realize that's what word tracks are. When Andy keeps talking about becoming a master closer, I tell you there's four types of salespeople, and I'm not gonna get off on it here, but there's salesmen, okay? Oh, my bad, whoa. There's order takers and tour guides, okay? You know who they are. They hand out business cards and walk people around the lot. They're salespeople. They know the product knowledge well. They know how to write up a deal, but they can't close the screen door, okay? Then you have sales, you have closers, Closers are people that can close a deal, but they negotiate down every single time. Okay, they don't close for all the money. And then you have master closers. Master closers are people that can close anybody, anytime, any place. Not only close them, but close them for all the money. They're literally like Alcatraz. Nobody can escape. This is my dream salesperson that I work on and give my life to to build, so I can literally change the the, the history of how salespeople are seen in the world. And I want to share this with you. I have hundreds of word trucks just like this one. Learn your first one today. Take this video and pause it. And write this down all the way. And then I want you to say it over and over and over again. And repetition is the mother of skill. And when someone says, I saw it cheaper someone else, you come out of the gate, you're positive, you don't change your state, and you close the deal. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, thank you for watching the full video. I started when I was 18 training just like you, no matter where you're at in life, I want to tell you this, being committed is all that it takes. I put out free training content on YouTube every single day to make sure that I can take you to the next level of life. I have over 500 free videos. Please make sure that you like the video. Shoot me a comment below and shoot me a text message. I'd love to get to know you, okay? If I haven't met you yet, 918-210-0254. Take a second, guys. Shoot me a text message. You're important to me. I have your back for life. We're going to go all the way to the top together. I appreciate you. you guys have a blessed day. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and set your alerts for the daily training video. Thank you.